is tall Georgia pines. It's doing battle in the North Georgia mountains and the rolling hills of the Piedmont. It's the top 14 from the five biggest John Boat Clubs in Georgia. It's taken the anglers a year to earn the right to be here. It may not be the big 70 mile per hour bass boats the pros use, but it is highly modified fishing rigs set up to handle these electric only lakes. The game is the same as the pros play, and you're gonna have to be on top of your game come March 16th, 2019, if you wanna earn the right to be the TEC champion. Proudly sponsored by G2 Gemini Jerseys. Rejuvenate. Power Pole. Nichols Lures. Dixie Athens Painting and Pressure Washing. Southern Draw Outdoors. East Pen. MyGeorgia811.com. Line Tanning Serum. Dugout bait and tackle. Illusion custom crankbaits. TH Marine. Lanier baits. Some Kena bait company. Hammond's fishing center. Now let me introduce you to some of the qualifying anglers. All right, I'm Brett Cummings. And I'm Zach Baker. We uh, fished with high voltage bass anglers last year, finished in third place overall. So they qualified us to fish with a, for the total electric championship coming up March 16th on Hard Labor Creek. Probably whenever we went to Juliet and we, we won that tournament. And, uh, we, we didn't have but four fish, but they was the right ones. That was probably one of our main turning points for the year. I think I'd agree. Uh, we had a really good day at Juliet. Looked up and hit one spot and caught three really good fish. Pulled one out right there at the end. Of course, you can check out the videos on Decked Out John Boats. Uh, High Falls was another one. Went down there, fished by myself, had a pretty good bag. Little did I know that 21 pounds was going to win that tournament. Yeah, my memorable fish was at, at Juliet. That when we got, got that, we got big fish. It was a six pound. That was my best fish for last year uh, in this in this club series. So. Um, I would say that the one I caught down at Hard Labor Creek the first time we ever fished it. Mm -hmm. Uh, my first tournament fishing with Enigma Rods. Uh, I think that fish weighed 614. Uh, there was a 714 weighed in right behind that. So didn't get big fish, but definitely put us up there in the points. I like a fish head spin. That's one of my go-to baits pretty much anywhere I go. I feel like I can catch fish on, on a fish head spin. Um, what about you? So, good thing Zach likes to throw the fish head spin because that's one bait I just can't stand to throw. Uh, I guess it depends on the time of year. I throw a drop shot a lot looking for a limit fish. Uh, throw a wacky worm a lot looking for a limit, limit fish. Uh, I mean, it really just depends on the time of the year. Me, I probably probably a shaky head. That's that's I like I like throwing a shaky head too. Um, that's another one of my favorites. Uh, so I'll probably flip a jig, uh, throw a chatterbait, uh, top water during the certain times of the year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I fish, I fish out of big, you know, I got a bass boat and I fish tournaments on Lanier uh, pretty, pretty regularly throughout the year. Um, 
Yeah, I like fishing big lakes too. I also fished uh, big lakes for years. I just got, I had previously fished electric only lakes uh, back in the late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, did really well, really enjoyed it. Great bunch of guys. So it's more like a family because the same guys show up every two weeks and you really get to know everybody. Not like going to the big tournaments where you see a few people that you know, but there's a lot of strangers involved. Uh, got tired of all the craziness on Lake Lanier. All the jet skis, all the ski boats, all the house boats, all the humongous ocean going vessels. Uh, the wind can beat you up out there. Just a lot more peaceful and relaxing on these small lakes. And uh, that's why I decided to come back. It's, it's just, let's see, you, you can you can move, you can cover a lot more water in a big in a big lake, obviously, because you got a, a motor and everything. But uh, these these lakes on these reservoirs, these these fish on these reservoirs, they're uh, usually they're usually when you catch them, you, the I mean they're bigger. You know, the tournaments usually have heavier weights. Uh, but, uh, uh, I think I'd agree. I mean, you always have to fish the water in front of you. In these electric only lakes, you go left or you go right, and you pretty much live with that decision. Mm -hmm. There's not a whole lot of running around like in the bass boat. You can't come back and hit a spot uh, once you get too far away from it because running your batteries down is a big uh, a big consideration in moving around the lake and making those last all day. Uh, so you learn to effectively cover the water, which actually makes you better on the big lakes also. Yeah. Yeah, since I've been fishing with Brad in these uh, past three years in the small lakes, I feel like I've, I've, I've learned a lot here that can help me on the big lakes as well. Because um, you got to have a lot more patience with, with the small lakes, I feel like, at times. Um, just because you don't have the ability to, to get up and, and move, you know, and, and go two miles down the lake in a short amount of time. I'm gonna say it's gonna take 20, 21 pounds to win to win that tournament. There's some uh, there's some big fish in there, and I think there's gonna be a bunch of good fishermen at that tournament. So I think it'll be 20, 21 pounds or better. Yeah, I say uh, <clears throat> I say as long as the weather cooperates, you could definitely see multiple 20 pound bags. Uh, the the fishing's really tough. I still think it'll take high teens. Uh, 18, 19. Uh, it's a really good lake. Uh, it's a little challenging. Uh, one thing I'd say is there's a lot of structure in that lake. It makes it hard to fish a lot of baits. That's a really big lake, so everybody gets to spread out. But there again, you have to live with your decision. You can only fish one arm. Uh, you know, if you get towards the dam, maybe you can fish that area in one arm. Uh, but pretty much live with, with the direction that you go in in the morning. Oh gosh, it's just, it's got so, like Brett said, it's got so much structure in it. And I mean, it's, it's at first it was, it was tough. And I think we kind of figured something out there. Um, but there's just, you're limited on what you can throw at hard labor. So it's, it's definitely different just because it's, it's pretty much pine trees in the water and stuff like that. <laughs> Little yeah. saplings and just, it's like a clear cut basically. It's been yeah. flooded. Definitely a thicket under <laughs> there all the way out to about, you know, 20 or 30 yeah. feet. So yeah. definitely makes it a challenging lake to fish, but I think that's kind of, that'll kind of even the playing field. I mean, that time of year, uh, it doesn't matter if you fished like a hundred times or if it's your first time out there. Uh, it's pretty much anybody's ball game. I'm gonna say Lewinsky in high voltage. We're either Donnie and Karen. I mean, they're either one of them. That's that's that's, <laughs> that's kind of tough there. Uh, yeah. They they both can catch them at any given day. I think. I think I'd agree. Uh, Lewinsky's had some really big bags out there. Uh, we've been pretty consistent. We 
we seem to jump off a couple of big fish that really cost us. Uh, those fish are getting smart. They've, they've had some pressure now. They're learning how to get away from, you know, once they are hooked. Uh, Miss Karen, <laughs> chances are she'll catch a big fish, so you can't never rule them out. Uh, I mean, but anybody in our club, I mean, you can go all the way down to the 10th place team and put them out there with us, and uh, I feel like they would have a chance to win. Absolutely. Well, I'm Zach Baker. And I'm Brett Cummings. And uh, we look forward to seeing y'all March 16th at Hard Labor Creek for the Total Electric Championship. Proudly sponsored by G2 Gemini Jerseys. Rejuvenate. Power Pole. Nichols Lures. Dixie Athens Painting and Pressure Washing. Southern Draw Outdoors. East Pen, MyGeorgia811.com, Line Taining Serum, The Dugout Bait and Tackle, Illusion Custom Crankbaits, TH Marine, Lanier Baits, Samkina Bait Company, Hammond's Fishing Center. So, if we need a kicker fish, Zach, what bait are you going to throw? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs>